Hi, welcome back to my channel. And today you will see how to crochet amazing cable stitches that I created recently for you. For work I will use 1.4 millimeters and a ball of 100% pressurized cotton yarn. Please join me and let's get started. Let's crochet the pattern. I will begin from the foundation chain, make a chain of 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The foundation chain is ready. Then make a chain. This is the chain for transition. Insert the hook into the second chain, stitch away from the hook. Make single crochet and single crochet into the e chain stitch of the foundation chain. Pattern consists of four stitches and pattern has two rows. I will repeat pattern three times and plus four stitches for more beautiful look. So I'm making single crochet till the end of my row. Here what I have at this point. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm done my single crochet. Let's crochet the tall stitches. My unique stitches with volume. Make chains to bring up the yarn. One, two, three, four, five six chains to bring up the yarn then toward the work make yarn over the hook four times i skip the first stitch insert the hook into the second stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops one two three four and five times so i am working with this loop or thread Let's count how many of them in the tall stitch. One, two, three, four. It is very easy to make. Insert the hook into the loop. Pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next. Pull up a loop. Three. And four. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook through the next stitch, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through three loops. Then pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. My delicate stitch is ready. This is the first one in this row. Then chain of two. And let's repeat one more time. Yarn over the hook four times. Pattern consists of four stitches. I skip two stitches, insert the hook into the third one, pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. One, two, three, four, and pull through two loops. Five. Let's repeat. Insert the hook into the loop of my tall stitch pull up a loop one two three and four then yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop then yarn over pull through three loops pull through two loops pull through two loops pull through and pull through the second one is done in total it should be four of them chain of two you can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook to create your project yarn over the hook four times insert the hook into the third stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops five times So my tall stitch is ready. Insert the hook into the loop of the tall stitch, pull up a loop one, two, 
three, four. Then yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through three loops, one, pull through two loops, one, two, three, and four. Let's stop and look at my tall stitches. Keep working this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete this row. Once I have done this row, there are four of them in my first row of the tall stitches. I call them stitches or small cable stitches because it looks like a small cable. Let's complete this row with me. Yarn over the hook four times. Insert the hook into the stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two loops five times. Your row could be longer than mine. So the second row of the main pattern is ready. This is the back side. And it is front. The next row will be a row of single crochet stitches. For this, let's crochet the next one. Make a chain, turn the work and make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. So I did two single crochet in the row on the top of my tall stitch. And make single crochet into the chain space. Then two single crochet into the chain space and two single crochet in row. And two single crochet into the chain space. Then I will show you how to complete this row with me. Let's complete this row with me. Once I have done my row of single crochet, insert the hook into the six chain stitch from the bottom or first chain stitch from the top. Make single crochet. Don't forget about this chain. Turn the work. Let's stop and look at my work. Pattern consists of Pattern consists of four stitches and has two rows. First one is single crochet and the second is a row of make chain of six to bring up the yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn the work. Yarn over the hook four times. I skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the second one, pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook into the chain, pull up a loop. One, two, three, four. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch of the previous row, pull up a loop, pull through three loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. My third stitch in this row is ready. Then chain of two, yarn over the hook four times, insert the hook into the third stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. One, two, three, four, five. I remind you pattern consists of two rows. Insert the hook into the loop, pull up a loop. One, two, three, four. Then yarn over the hook, insert the hook through the next stitch, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through first three loops. Then pull through two loops. One, two, three, four. The second one is done. Please join me 
You should try it immediately. It is not difficult to make. Even beginner can do it. So you should crochet as many times as you need for your project. So that's it. My swatch is ready. Here how it looks. In this case, I do my second swatch longer. You can use this pattern to create blanket, runner or table clothes, doily, coaster, mug rug or another accessories for your home or kitchen. Also, you can use such pattern to create accessories for winter such as scarf. Please write comment below each video what you will get with me and where you will use it. See you next time and bye!